All right, so today we're going to dive into XRP, some of the updates on XRP Ledger, and also maybe some analysis on some interesting partners that may be brewing by the name of Gala. Yes, you heard that right. It's going to be a good one. My name is Paul Barron. Welcome back into Tech Path. This is going to be a good topic today. I think you guys will like it. We're going to break down a little thing, a few things that will give you some indication as to maybe could there be a partnership here brewing uh, around Gala and XRP. Let me kind of explain. We'll jump into a first topic here. More assets, greater interoperability now coming to XRP Ledger thanks to a new partnership. A couple of things they've highlighted here. GateHub, largest uh, ledger gateway provider, XRP, uh, XRPL Labs, the creators of the Zoom wallet, now have announced a strategic partnership. This alliance, of course, will aim to enhance XRP, the, L, the ecosystem by introducing a few more assets and facilitating effortless value transfer between XRP and other prominent networks. So this is a good news for the ledger in general. Further in the article here, it's talking about adoption and interoperability. Partnership aims to promote the adoption of XRP and other digital assets within the DeFi ecosystem. Also, planning to enhance interoperability across various blockchains. Again, this would be another big win for XRP if this does start to gain traction. European users have an exclusive benefit of using the instant card, which can do a top-up method. I'll explain that here in a second. All right, so let me get into a little bit here around the GitHub joining forces with uh, XRPL and the potential for an on-off ramp for 14 assets. Let me kind of just buzz down to this, showing a little bit about the Zoom wallet. The, these are the added 14 assets. Now, most of them are, you know, you would recognize these assets. You've got Litecoin, Bitcoin, ETH in there, et cetera. But then you have Gala right here, the only Web3 token that is in this array. In fact, the only gaming token. So. Is there something brewing here with Gala and XRP? That'll be a, a good uh, analysis as we break this down for you guys. I want to go over to a clip real quick. This is going to be a good one. It talks about how XRP is going to integrate with these kinds of assets. Listen in. XRP Lab, the developers of the Zum Wallet, with the cooperation of Ripple developers, created Hooks. This way, developers can still be creative at the same time as enjoying the many perks of building on the XRP ledger. For 99% of all smart contract use cases we see today, uh, you, you can do exactly what you do with EVM, uh, but then with hooks. And I think hooks are more efficient in many ways. Some screenshots preview of what the hook store is gonna look like right now on, on my personal Twitter. Like I said, I think that's massive. Um, I'm not aware of anything that works like that. Um, that's, that's stepping up the game a lot. All right, so if you're not aware, smart contracts, this is kind of the equivalent, you know, whether you like it or you don't like it or agree with it or not, that XRP has initiated uh, in terms of an alternative to, say, smart contracts. Some of the things that they kind of boast here, no installs, WebAssembly based, this is a good advantage, built-in code, uh, hinting docs, save and share on GIST, etc. Then you can deploy in browser. Those are other aspects that, you know, it's kind of like webhooks. If you think about webhooks work very similarly to almost like these little small connections that help identify and bring in, you know, aspects of what a smart contract would do is what they're trying to do. So a very interesting uh, component. Whether this is something that will make a big difference is the real question. All right, so I want to go to another clip on Evernode. This will help kind of put this puzzle together a little bit. Listen in. When this is all in place, this is the XRP ledger grown up. Mm. It is the ability to genuinely say XRP ledger can compete with Ethereum, right? It would be a lie today to say, that it can because it doesn't have smart contracts. But with this new side chain and these new amendments and with Evernode, genuinely, you are pretty much only limited by your ability to think. So when Witsa says that the hooks is a lightweight smart, smart contract, it does about 90% of what the EVM is capable of doing. But when you add Evernode on top of that, it can do maybe equal or even more possibly than what an EVM chain can do. So that's that's exciting for the XRP ledger uh, and Absolutely. it's exciting for the XRP uh, holders. 
All right, so as you can see, I mean, there's some technology brewing there with Ripple, and it, some of this, of course, does have to go against really what's happening over on the Ethereum chain. So you, you kind of have to look at the potential of the technology, whether you think Evernode and the combination of hooks can really become something that would be, you know, compatible, or I shouldn't say compatible, but competitive to EVMs, I think is the bigger question here. A couple of things I want to hit on over here as well. They're just kind of showing the launch here of the roadmap. This is talking about a launch around October through December. So here we are in first, fourth quarter. Could be, but you know they're still kind of playing a little bit of uh, tongue-in-cheek there with that. So I don't know. This will be interesting to see. This next point right here is just talking about the Zoom wallet. And soon your Zoom wallet and tangible cards can be ordered with prepaid XRP. You know, this will be interesting because... If you haven't seen this, this essentially gives you the ability to add almost any kind of custom card to a wallet like this, which like say a tangent wallet, which will be able to maybe connect into bigger brands, other blockchains, other NFT projects, et cetera, that could kind of play into this. Another aspect that I wanted to show here, this is kind of interesting because you're talking about a major event that could be happening in the, in the fourth quarter here. And that is if we got an XRP listing on Robinhood, what it could mean for crypto. Pretty big rumor, rumors, of course, still a rumor here, is that Robinhood might list XRP by the close of 2023. I think, of course, we already know with Robinhood, they've had so much movement just by you know the trading levels on Doge. I think the community, when you think about the uh, communities that are out there, the XRP community would be a massive one for Robinhood to take on and kind of move to that next level. Now, with that being in the in the potential. Now you go over and look at this, and this is Gala Games who announced that it's gonna shift its NFT game items from the Ethereum network to the Gala chain. Now you guys remember this, this would allow gamers to use NFTs without paying any fees. Now, granted, that was kind of the goal. This, I would argue that that has not necessarily been the case in terms of happening. There's always going to be a scenario on uh, fees, and that I think this is gonna be the challenge. And since that has happened, if you remember, Gala right now, if you just look at coin market cap, still, even though it's migrated to this new contract address uh, from the old contract address, we'll, we're still not getting all the data. So that's the other scenario. So essentially, the Gala token is almost unattainable, uh, at least in the new format. This is where it used to be listed. So this would be an interesting listing if, in fact, it went on to the XRP ledger. So... Very interesting aspect. Now, if you look at the XRP ledger, these are all the tokens. So here's a rundown. Obviously, XRP leading their way, but you've got um, Bitstrap in there, or Bitstamp in there, Core, Solo, and so on. But you'll notice that there's not a lot of volume in any of these, all right? With that being the case, Gala would have significant volume within the ledger. Could become one of the major tokens on this. Could this be one of the scenarios that is actually afoot here. If you take a look at that, and then you go look at Ripple trying to do some things around NFTs and bringing them onto the ledger, meaning they've got a lot of different creator programs. This was a creator fund. Let me kind of zoom in on that for you guys. This was a fund of $250 million commitment to help creators bring their NFT projects onto the market. And again, this might be another place for Gala to go after a large amount of, of funding and assistance that could be based into a chain that has such a dynamic ecosystem and better yet has one of the biggest social ecosystems out there. And when you think about games, NFTs, one of the weaknesses of XRP, I know the XRP fans will hate this when I say it, is the NFT side. They just don't have the vibrant community, but they do have a vibrant com community overall. So if you kind of blend the mix of what's happening with Gala, which Gala has a very vibrant community versus and with the XRP community, boom, you might have some magic that could happen here. Just as an example, I'll show you guys some of that in a little bit, but these are some of the other things that uh, are happening right now with Ripple, and these are XRPL grants. So grants that are also six applications uh, now closed. Uh, we've got another one that's going to open in August. So another opportunity here, again, to build within the XRP ledger. And as I said, if you look at the ecosystems out there, you've got them right here. Top blockchain games with highest engaged social communities. Gala right there, number three, 3.28 million. That's significant. And this is one of the reasons that we've been a big fan of Gala in the past. 
What they've done here recently, sure, there's been some, you know, go back and watch our video on this breakdown. But, you know, it's just, it's almost as though they've lost their way a little bit, but maybe there is an opportunity of where they could kind of come out of the forest here and maybe some project alignment with things like XRP Ledger. So I don't know if this is going to be the case. This is still speculation, high speculation as to how some of these projects are going to move forward. Where are the right partnerships? What are some of the things that could happen to kind of help projects really accelerate? And if you look at the chains that have been one, really a pent up demand for, like Ripple and XRP because of what's happened with the SEC over the past several years, and you look at other chains, you know that they're not necessarily going to go the EVM route because they've kind of already migrated away from that. So is there an alternative strategy that could be in the mix? Love to get your opinion on this. We always love to get you guys' feedback. Drop some comments down below. You'll probably hit me on Twitter crazy uh, on just ideas of how this might work. But this is how speculation works. What you're trying to understand is how this technology is going to move to the next level. Who are the partners going to be? If you can start to outguess what's happening based on what we see in the marketplace, there's where you're going to end up uh, really getting in on some early alpha. So make sure and stay tuned for that. If you guys are not joined in on our Diamond Circle, uh, it's one of the best things you can do, and that is very easy. Just click the link down below. You can join for free. We do additional podcasts and all kinds of stuff over there. If you want to reach me, it's out there on Twitter, at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on TechBack.